So did Studio Mappa make any changes to the controversial ghosting and dimming in Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 9? Yo, what's good as a boy to the views, and heavy spoilers for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 9, you have been warned. So I finally bought the Blu-ray on Amazon Japan, which cost about $66, which contains episodes 9, 10 and 11 of season 2. The Blu-ray cover is of our boy Fushigoro Megami, and just like with the previous Blu-rays, it contains more or less the same items, no special behind the scenes, just an audio disc, which is quite useless if you don't understand Japanese. But with that out of the way, did Marpa make any changes to episode 9? Well yes, yes they did. So let's talk about the main changes of episode 9. The first major change comes from the scene of Gojo and Hanami trying to neutralize the limitless. All of the dimming has been removed. But not just that, but it looks like the saturation is slightly increased in the Blu-ray. <laughs> Next up, the scene of Gojo expanding his range of infinity while targeting Hanami. Has the majority of the dimming and ghosting removed? Honestly, I'm quite happy that all of the dimming has been removed in this scene because there was a lot of really nice detailed shots with the character designs that was quite lost in the television version. So it does make me happy to see this beautiful art being showcased in the Blu-ray version in its full glory. But holy moly, Gojo was an absolute menace in this moment. Even though he's on the side of the good guys, I couldn't help but feel a bit sorry for Hanami. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the scene of Jogo shouting at Chozo to help him out. Come on Chozo, stop being a lazy boy. All of the dimming has been removed and my gosh, it is literally night and day when it comes to the TV and Blu-ray. The scene has more brightness and clarity and contrast. Next up, the scene with the train of transfigured humans heading towards the platform. There's a scene where you see a close-up of the train wheels on the train tracks. The dimmon has been removed in this scene, as well as the camera panning from right to left as we focus on the train. Next up, the scene of Mahito and Chozo using idle transfiguration and blood manipulation convergence body repel and supernova. The scene of all the humans being taken out by the two villains have all of the demon removed. The television version already was pretty intense to watch but my gosh with the demon removed and with the saturation being increased it just gives me more chills just watching it dude. But I think one of the biggest changes comes right after the scene of Gojo using domain expansion infinite void. The scene of Gojo just absolutely running at such ferocious speed while control alt deleting all of the transfigured humans looks infinitely better no pun intended i mean this entire scene had so much ghosting and dimming and while a lot of fans did appreciate this scene for what it was there were those that didn't like it due to the amount of ghosting and dimming a lot of people felt like the emotional impact of what was happening in the scene was lost in the ghosting and dimming but fear not because marpa have removed all of the ghosting and dimming and Gojo looks better than ever. Next up, in the scene of fake Ghetto confronting Gojo, we have a brief flashback of all the good moments and bad moments of Gojo and Ghetto in the past, from the first five episodes of season two to the JJK movie. All of the dimming and ghosting has been removed. And speaking of the JJK movie, the scene of Yuta fighting Ghetto in the third act of the film has all of the dimming and ghosting removed. And that's it. Those are all the major changes of Jujutsu Kaisen season two episodes 
episode 9. Every other scene in this episode is exactly the same from TV to Blu-ray. No changes have been made whatsoever to the character designs, background art, or special effects. One thing I notice is that whenever we have a shot of a darkly lit scene, the blacks don't tend to look too black in the television version, but the Blu-ray doesn't have that blurry fuzziness you get whenever there's a darkly lit room, which is the result of the Blu-ray having less compression than the television version. Although I do understand why Japanese networks have to use use ghosting and dimming due to the incidents of the Pokemon episode in the 90s. I must admit that watching these scenes with all the dimming and ghosting removed really enhances the overall artwork and animation that was beautifully and painstakingly crafted by the animators at MAPA. This is how the episode was intended to look and it's just nice to see it. But tell me in the comments down below what do you guys think of these changes? Do you like the changes or not? Do you think MAPA should have added any more changes to the Blu-ray episode? Tell me! Like this video, subscribe for more Jujutsu Kaisen TV vs Blu-ray comparisons. I will be doing episodes 10 and 11 in the upcoming days. But thank you for watching and as always, a boy do the view signing out.